Hi, this is Don Southerton, your host for another week of Everything Korea. This week's topic is titled, A Singular Message. So, just, just jump right in. I was recently interviewed by Fortune.com. I also contributed to the media. You know, they were looking into the success of Korean car brands, Kia Motors and Hyundai Motor, in the wake of the latest J.D. Power Initial Quality Survey. That's the IQS. To the surprise of many, Kia ranked number two, just below premium brand Porsche, and Hyundai ranked fifth, both of them well above longtime and formerly top-ranked Japanese brands. So, with much of my work over the past decade supporting Korean global business, and especially Hyundai and Kia, and more so the Korean car maker has been a long-time topic of my research, study, writings, and media commentary, my answer on why Korean brands had exceed, uh, achieved this success is simple. Quality has been an almost singular career message by the car maker's chairman, Chung Man Gu. So, to share some insights, I quote from the book I wrote titled Hyundai Way and Hyundai Speed. By 1999, Chung Man Gu had assumed control of the Hyundai Motor Company in addition to his leadership role at Hyundai Precision, and we know that today as uh, Hyundai Mobis. Adding to his responsibilities at HMC, he had uh, they had recently acquired Kia Motors, and Kia had been an early casualty of the Asian fiscal crisis that had ripped through the Korean economy. Many uh, Having experience at the Hyundai Motor after sales service division early in his career, Chung Mun Gu was not without insights into the car division. Since its founding in the 1970s, Hyundai Motor Company had focused solely on growth. This was indicative at the time of, of, of Korean industry. This focus was to produce as many cars as possible, as fast as possible. In turn, product quality and customer satisfaction suffered. From this experience working with consumers at the Hyundai Motor after sales division, Chung Mun Gu knew the damage shoddy products could bring to the reputation of Hyundai, not to mention the high cost of warranty. So, when Chung Mun Gu shared his intentions to turn the Hyundai Motor Company into a top five automaker, few outside the company took him seriously. So Hyundai, like many family-controlled Korean companies, was hierarchical and at times slow to change, especially if there was a perceived risk. More significant, managers rarely cooperated with one another, and division chiefs ran their, op their operations as personal fiefdoms. It was a company of silos. Quoting former Hyundai Kia Motors uh, Vice Chairman and Chief Technology Officer E. Hyun So, he mentions, when a problem occurred, each division would blame one another. Chung Mun Gu's first step was to replace former ta uh, top management with engineers and those who'd worked closely with him at Hyundai Precision. He formulated a, sta uh, a strategy to challenge Toyota for quality. Extensive work with a number of top global consulting firms, uh, including uh, J.D. Powers, along with benchmarking the world's best automotive companies followed. He also sent teams to America to study weather, road conditions, and driver habits. Quality control staff increased tenfold to a thousand, and they reported directly to him. Uh, along with this, there was a lot of reporting of uh, uh, encouraging employees to report suggestions for improvement. Uh, and overall, Chung Mungu quickly earned a reputation for an obsession for quality. Uh, and there are many examples of this. And one was that there was a small, in one of the Sonata launches, there was a small error the size of a gap between two sheet metals nearing the headlight. The problem was not visible to the human eye and narrow than 0.1 millimeter. However, numerous managers and employees worked on the problem for 25 days to get it resolved. This obsession with quality continues today with the chairman. And he relentlessly reinforces this in, uh, in mandates to management teams globally as they strive for zero defects. So, stepping away from the book, all said, my work, I drill deep. I look for and then share with clients the reasons behind Korean global business. 
Many times this includes mentoring, coaching, and steering teams and C-level management to solutions. If these unique resources, like today and our, most of these weeks of, of Everything Korea, would benefit you and your company, I've blocked out some times available to discuss some options. You can just go to www.meetme.so forward slash Southerton. Uh, and it's oddly embedded in this, uh, in this, uh, this uh, uh, broadcast. Uh, for a link to the book, Hyundai Way, Hyundai Speed, I have it available in paperback and ebook. Uh, you can just go to the link for that. If you'd like a complimentary PDF copy, there's also a link for that. So until next time, this is Don Southerton wishing you all the best. Take care.